All right, all right, everyone. Okay, mic is working. Let's get this shit started. Long time no see. Long time no see, everyone. Been quite busy. I just, I mostly just spent the day just catching up on sleep. Some much needed sleep that I haven't been getting. Okay, damn. Let's try this.
I've more to teach you about transfiguration. If you have a moment. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the ultimate. to customize it.
Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Wow. That's pretty cool right there. So cool. Don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk Deke. to me when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm. Quite a difference. Quite a difference indeed. It looks nice now. Style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space how did that happen the room equips itself to your needs it must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting if you'd like to customize the space further you can use these spell crafts you'll find more of them both inside and outside the school thank you professor i shall keep an eye look out. at deke he's sweeping Good. i'll leave you to it this is your space now use it wisely Nothing to identify, for now at least. Yo, sick dude, what up, what up? Long time no see. It's been a while. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. The room looks so nice now. Wow. Do a whole lot better now? Yeah, that's what's up. You just needed some time, right? What you been up to? Just resting and recovering? Girl, my herbs!
Kingdom Hearts 3 now, that's a game I haven't heard. It's a game series I haven't heard in a while. Kingdom Hearts. This is a really good game series. One of gaming's classics. I remember uh, Mickey Mouse the most. You play Mickey Mouse, Goofy. They're so wild for adding those characters. Let's see. Let's go to Hogsmeade. What are you up to now? What are you up to now? Greetings, Mr. Ollivander. I visited the Owlery, as you suggested. Oh, it's the intrepid young sleuth. Well, what did you find? Was my inkling correct? It was, but I don't think either of us could have predicted where I'd end up. Most intriguing. Where did it all lead? I met the ghost of Richard Jackdaw himself. Game what Boy? Game yeah, Boy you know the Game Boy was actually... Astonishing. Technically, I, I'd call it a console. It was my first ever console. And? My first ever handheld device. I had the red one. Game Boy Fire, I think it was called. Ah. Well, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. I, suppose I knew about Kingdom Hearts for a long time because my cousin was a big fan of it. But there you have it. She in loved the game. Case, you have mine and my family's thanks. At least now we know what happened. I shall tell them what I've learned and what you have done for us. I wanted to talk to him about getting a new wand or something, you know? Shit. The basic gray wood? Yeah, that's the one I remember the most, too. I never really saw the blue ones, to be honest. The cobalt. But yeah, it was game. It was, uh, let's see here. I'm trying to remember the timeline. It was Game Boy. And GameCube. I don't know. First it was Nintendo, Game Boy, GameCube, uh, PS2, PS3, and Xbox 360. Then it went to the PS4 Slim, and now I'm on the PS5. That's how it went. Oh, I played the PSP too. It was kind of whack though. Not gonna lie. The PSP, I didn't really like it. What is this place? Anybody want cotton candy? I never had a PSP or Vita, it was kind of mid. I think the only reason why I got it was to play that um, Uncharted Drake's Abyss, something like that, or Golden Abyss. That was on the PSP. I remember that because uh, then GameStop at the time, they kind of had those like display sections. You know what I'm talking about, how you can just like play the consoles and stuff. They had that for the Vita, or uh, the PSP. You can just walk up to it, start playing it, see how it is. How do I customize the wand? Hmm. Inventory. Oh, I don't think you can customize it. Well, you can, but... 
that you only remember Nintendo, Game Boy, GameCube, PS2, through PS3, Orange Light of Death, Xbox 360 till Red Ring of Death. Yeah, that was so iconic. I mean, I know people, I seriously know people that still play Xbox 360 to this day. I mean, they were, they're old consoles, but they're very reliable. They really are. Even back to the PS2, very reliable. Okay, I want to sell some stuff or something. I gotta go sell some gear. Is this tank? These shops gotta be open, you think so? Where am I at? Instead of sell some stuff, turn around. Here it is. Something here. You're back. Sup. Nice to see you again. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. I need some new clothes. Who's the one that sells them? Looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. That looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks like it was rather made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. If I haven't said it before, it's a pleasure doing business with you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I 
I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. by whenever you're about. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. say that. I thought she did. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens, ranted on and on about rogue dragons, wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. Your friend, Mr. Ollivander, sent me an owl asking for help finding an heirloom wand that was stolen from him. He did, did he? And so I went to the owlery, like he said, and there were all these statues. What do you mean, statues? In the owlery? Yes which led me to a secret hideout where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there and right next to... Y'all remember the Jackdaw from I Black found Flag? The pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw... Had Those Edwards shit. Contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not. It's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. That game deserves a remaster. Oh, need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, I gotta remember how to play this game again. It's been a while. Him. Oh, I got the new Mortal oh, Kombat. Have you played that yet? To think it was beneath us all this time.
There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability, the potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key, and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful. And do not tell anyone where you're going.
Alright, well I was looking for my room or something like what the hell. It's time you learned Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. What you... Where's the uh, the potion place where you can brew potions? Thought it was somewhere in here. Cooking. I don't know where you find the materials for this shit. Alright, let's go meet this guy. Wow, a pole. Wow. What oh, shit? This is not the place you want to be. What up, Momo? It's good to see you. How have you been? The Forbidden Forest. Didn't they have something like this in Naruto? 
At least I thought so. This is bad. It's a I already used all of my health potions. Tower, lovely view, I'd imagine. No Who's Bakar is, mind you. Bakar? Who's that talking? I've been doing good, and you all, I've just been chilling. Sorry, I ain't streamed in a while. When I got home from work, I was just tired. That's pretty much what I spent today doing, just catching up on the sleep that I haven't gotten during work. I'm summoning two enemies simultaneously. I don't have any of these though. Over here. We finally got some new clothes, look at that. Not bad, I think it's definitely an improvement. We're not alone. We are not. Ranrock's loyalists. Around a dozen, I can see, but could be more. Can't we operate past them into the tower? We could, but we've no idea what's in the tower. More importantly, however, I'd like to know why they're here. They've set up camp just ahead. I suggest we investigate a little before doing anything else. Let's go. Oh, I need health. Ideal. You got any health potions no, I can borrow? Isn't. This way. Well, I can't borrow and them. I'm not gonna give I'd them back. Suggest we use can you lend me some, please? Charm here. No sense in announcing our arrival. Now you just homeless. <laughs> Damn. Damn. What kind of homeless people have you been seeing? Oh shit, we gotta sneak past these guys. Uh, where's the stealth? Stay hidden and cast Petrificus Totalus. Eh, yeah, they'll get better. I just think it's definitely an improvement from the last one. Only following orders. Investigate the goblin presence. What do you want me to do? Uh oh. There must be something here. Ramrock said so. They want me to kill them. I don't know. It says investigate, but already off to a horrible start, bro. I not know how to fucking play this game.
orders directly from Ranrock. These orders indicate that they're after something to do with names. What names? And why here? What is that? Is that Momo? You won't last long. It's very rare footage of Momo. Many goblins have always been antagonistic towards wizard kind, but this is different somehow. Oh, I'm glad that's over. Looks like we found the entrance. It's locked. Unsubscribe. I want subscribe to get up reporting you. Very common LGSL. Very common. You can't spell LGS at the fucking L. You just can't. And broom. I imagine these brooms have been enchanted for centuries. Never seen. Them. Welcome to Silvercar's Tower. Hello, Professor. Did you say Sam Bacar's tower? I did. Professor Bacar is a keeper you have yet to encounter. I'm glad to see that I was correct in presuming that we would meet again soon after our last encounter. Though I surmise, based on the commotion I heard, that you did not have an easy time getting to me. We did not, Professor. We encountered goblins outside the tower. That goblins were aware of my vault is disquieting enough. But if they have also made a connection to this tower, then the threat may be greater than I thought. All the more reason for us to move forward. Downstairs, near the entry, a reservoir of ancient magic, like those you've seen before, has been unlocked. Commanded to access a doorway. I'm afraid I cannot say more. As Professor Fig cannot join you, he and I will, in time, see you back at the map chamber. Remember what you see. We're going to need to understand how Ranrock's loyalists knew about a tower that once belonged <laughs> to a Video proof of LGS 3D is fans horrible, yeah. You've more important My bad, pimp. Sorry. Sorry. ancient magic, I believe? Yes, sir. Then I shall leave matters in your increasingly capable hands. That said, be careful. I will, sir. I'll see you back in the map chamber. A reservoir of ancient magic, downstairs, near the entry. I gotta give you a, a $19 Fortnite card as a giveaway to repay you guys, treating you horribly. It's coming soon, don't worry. I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section. Yay, a giveaway. Must have done something. 
Best have a look around. Revelio. Traces of ancient magic. Something must be different. Something must be different. Rebellion. Let me get this chest for one mind. Happened. Can I open this? Negative. Wait a minute. What's over here? Dude, that is so trippy. It's a never a welcome sight. At least I know what to expect this time. statues.
Revelio. Revelio. What did that burst of magic change on both sides of the archway? Something must be different. Seems I ought to explore this archway from both sides. See how the room changes when I move in and out of the archway. I see, I see. Yes, use the gamer brain. So that's it. I need to use both sides of the archway to get the platform to the other side of the bridge. Revelio.
Trevelyan. Please, no more of that. Revelio. Come from like wow, it's wild, it's wild, bro. Good 
What a relief. W, right? I'm surprised he even got that. I expected like um, him to summon like some buddies to help him, you know? Usually like boss too. Another pensive. And summon like some helpers. Figure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. But the pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know. To use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Every year, a student sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morganach, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take some getting used to. Damn! Professor Rickwood? I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. There's much I'd like to share with you. That would be delightful. We shall let the others know. Very well. I shall see you then. Hmm. Another memory. Now to find a way out of here. All crystallized stone. That must be... Oh, there's another person now. What have we here? I'm a student at Hogwarts, sir. And this is Professor Fig. Professor Charles Rookwood at your service. Has someone completed the first trial? I have, Professor. Rookwood. We saw you in the pensive in Gringotts, with Professor Rackham. Indeed. So, you found the port key to access Professor Rackham's vault, and you deciphered the map within the locket you found floating above that pensive. I did. I found something that I can't identify floating above the last pensive. Ah, yes. You will find a similar artifact in each trial. You must take care to keep them safe. You will need them to complete the journey we have set forth for you. Once you have them all, we will tell you what to do with them. Very well. Are you able to tell me anything about the next trial? Before you proceed, 
I would like to speak with Charles regarding the urgent situation involving the goblins. The goblins? The student has seen traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. They and their mentor, Professor Fig, not only encountered goblins lurking outside of San Bacar's tower, they also encountered a powerful goblin in my vault at Gringotts. Hmm. I'm afraid it would be wise to halt the trials until we know more. We shall defer to you in this matter. Of course. Now then... Wait, Professor. The name Rookwood. Do you think that there's a connection to Victor? Perhaps. But we can't be sure of its significance, if any. For now, tell me what you saw in the pensive. Before the witch from the last pensive, Isadora, became a Hogwarts professor, she argued with Professor Rackham about using magic to remove pain. Hmm. Hopefully the next pensive provides more context. For now, we should learn what Ramrock knows. I will be honest, I've no idea where to start. Actually, I might know of someone. I saw Serona at the Three Broomsticks speaking to a goblin once. They seemed friendly. Well, it's worth a try. See what you can find out. Of course, don't forget... My studies. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go... Professor? Have you encountered swirling traces of magic in the world? Uh, aside from those along our path? Not that I recall. What are they? Evidence of the Keeper's efforts to manipulate the power of ancient magic during our time. If I am correct, and I usually am, you should be able to use them to inform and enhance your own magic. Thank you, sir. I will look out for them. Oh, it's my room. It better be my room. E. Ask Serona at the three broom. Spectacular news! The broom upgrade's ready. Ha! Stop by the shop when you can. The broom upgrades, I they're ready. Come and see me about a pressing and highly confidential matter Open at that. your earliest convenience. I uh, believe how do I access my room again? Level twelve. Okay. Shouldn't be that long. Uh, I want to go to Hogsmeade. What he said, bro, broom upgrades, bro, we need that, need that. The uh, fast travel. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. I would like to teach you Descendo, useful for pulling objects to the ground. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. Oh, 
What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. A wise decision. Thank you. A wise decision. Thank you. Why is there so many cats here? Like, there's so many. I don't see any dogs. This is just like only cats. Uh. Nothing but cats everywhere. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. I truly appreciate all of your help. A thousand gold, bro. You're tripping. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. At least you can pet them, right? They're pretty cool. See, there's one cat. My mother used to say I was lazy. Wouldn't I'll find another. This place is nice, though. What is that? I'm gonna get some candy. I don't know what this place is for, really. Just eat stuff. No other pets allowed. I guess they haven't been domesticated yet. I don't fucking know. <laughs> That's crazy, though. It's only cats. Cotton candy. That's so cool to look at. Looks so good too. I haven't had cotton candy in a long time. Bro, what are you doing? What did he just... <laughs> what was that? I'd never seen him do that before. <laughs> he went monkey mode. How did I do that? That was wild. Let's check these quests out. Uh. <laughs> Troll boogies. Let's go do this. I don't know how I did that though, that shit was so funny. I didn't know you could do emotes. It's priceless. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Nah, what you talking about? There's plenty of shit to do here. If you're here for my wares, you're here for my wares. Alright, yes. I'll go get them. Can I? Here we go. A fly. It's so cool. I really do like this feature.
Remember when these goblins kept kicking my ass, bro? I wonder if they're still here. Looks as if there's more. Cards. Rebellion. Lumos. Ah, oh, how do you do this shit again? Rebellion. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Revelio. Rebellion. Incendio. Accio. Rebellion. If you're here for my wares, I'm afraid... On, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> You know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. the best to you. Once my carts arrive, I'd be happy to show you my wares.
Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? to see you again. Farewell for now. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. One cat. Three cats. Oh, this one's orange. This is a wild cat. Spicy one.
and shave. Look at this, bro. He's panhandled. You know what? I respect the guy. Yeah, take it. Get some good honor from that. That pippin should have been here by now. It say deliver here. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have your brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself. Yeah. <laughs> You'll not be getting a canut out of Not gonna lie, his prices are kind of whack. Drink it. Hundred dollars for one health potion, bro. Come on. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not such chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? What are we looking for today? Man, you're talking shit. You got the same prices as other dudes. Hundred dollars for one health potion. Rose would would do it. I don't know how to pronounce that. My bad. What up, Rose? Thank you for stopping in. I just I butchered that. My bad. Look at this guy. Where are you going? I like his outfit. His outfit's kind of nice. Woodard. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't even know. Usually everyone's got like, you know, like made up usernames. What are you doing? Hmm? That cello? I don't know what the hell he's doing. Let's go fast travel. Hogsmeade. And fast travel. This is gonna be a long game. I can already tell. We have everything it's pretty fun though. Might need when it comes to potions. I'm I having fun with it. The whole flying and everything, the combat's pretty decent too. I wish they had more like enemy variety though. It reminds me a lot. Of God of War 2018, how they only had like a couple enemies to fight. Just kept on reusing them over and over. But the world is really nice to explore. The graphics are pretty good too. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. 
I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. And I get to create my own character too. That's pretty cool. Although I wish the character customization was a little bit better. At least you can still do it, you know. Your character has a voice and everything. LGS key. We put him in Hogwarts. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Come on. How much money did you give me? Oh, you know what these, these people are running around? They remind me of the uh, couriers from Skyrim. The stats look good though. Mm. I like the way these look. This is the only one I like so far. That looks pretty cool. I don't know, I think the glasses look better. We could change the fucking color of the cape, you know, that would have been cool. Okay. Anything else? I like that. I like the scarf the most. Let's see, anything better with these? These that are, I don't know. I think I picked the best one out of all of them. This one compared to all of the others. Like, wow, look at that. I think I'm going to stick with that one for now.
Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. What can I do for you today? A wise decision. Thank you. Wise decision. Thank you. What the hell? That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, what do they want me to do now? Attend class. Oh boy, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Bully. Poor goblins, man. Look at him. Dobby. Dobby, oh no. He's working hard. They got the goblins doing slave labor. Focus potion. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to Pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps... Not to go flinging your classmates. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem to stop the to mark your cell card.
Going to the saloon. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord God. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lodgok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please... Watch your back. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, are meet. Welcome to the Og's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard kind. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. I'm ready. Good. The carbons are so cool. To lose. Honestly, the only the only time I think what I remember this was Brock and Sindri from God of War. Those dwarves. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. 
Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate, but I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. See you. That's curious. <laughs> Funny hair. Funny hair. It's actually got good stats, better than the one I had before. Revelio. I like the video. Yeah, you see the way it's bouncing around? That's kind of funny. How do I do this? Oh. Stand still. That shit. Okay. Let's try the other one. Hmm. Incendio. No. What am I missing here? I think I know what to do. Stealth, maybe? Revelio.
What am I doing wrong here? Hmm. Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. Lumos. Lumos. I have a feeling I'm not alone here.
Lumos. Mm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. Lumos. Lumos. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. It's sealed shut from the other side. Down I go. No other way. Oh! Rebellion. Lumos. Lumos.
Revelio. King ought to raise that. That must be it. Lumos. 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 Is one right here the whole time? Come on. The witch's final resting place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus.
There's Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. And I've got one like this. Better show this to Lodgok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Lord Gok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn, they got here first. We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. I'll head there now. Good, there's no time to lose. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Revelio. There they are, the Ashwinders. Revelio. 
That's it. This is for Rookwood. Ah, how delightful. <laughs> There's no telling what lies in wait for me in there. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well done! This is sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It just looks like a helmet to me. Ah, you're looking at what it is, rather than what it means. To most goblins, this is more than a mere helmet. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts. Oh, I think we can have a pet. Though they give us a pet. None of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Gerald, <laughs> kind of, it's kind of cute. You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. Saucy. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I 
think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? That's cool. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way, the measles are over here. What are these things? But they look cool. Are these cats? Oh, a couple of these or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> Slytherin. Stupid thing. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Tusk, tusk, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <laughs> That's really not funny. It's not. <sighs> Let's go. These things are cool though, I want one. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was onto them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. That's so cool, though. I really do like that feature. It's cute. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savagers in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer, stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm, an optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I need to talk to you. Come here. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something oh, she's a Hufflepuff. is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, 
In light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry, we're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. It's a hippogriff, isn't it? Saucy! Damn, saucy. Saucy got an upgrade. Just magnificent. Go on, introduce yourself to her, but be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly you can feed and brush her if you'd like I come and check on her every once in a while bring her pasties tell her what's going on in the castle you wouldn't know from looking at her but she's a dreadful busybody she can feed and brush them like in Red Dead Lady, when can I get one? Or one of my own? So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Mm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poacher's influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on, what they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep hiring safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. What can I get one of my own? Bastard, someone a pet or something.
Finally, this looks like a decent outfit. All black. 
I wish I could change the color here. It's fine. Just stop vanishing mindfulness when practicing Ebenesco. I think I can get an eye on my configuration over the well this year. Human transfiguration is dangerous. Huh? Rebellion. Beth. Hello. What's up? What's up? Long time no see. Duh. How have you been? Busy is always same, 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 same. Just enjoying the weekend while I can, because I know it won't be too long before I have to go back to work. Flies by quick. But yeah, anything new? My kind of name is Deke. Deke! It's Deke, everybody! 
Deke is pretty cool. We'll meet him as soon as I can figure out how the fuck to get back to my room. I need to go there anyways to identify some gear. Let me search this up. Do, 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 do. The room of requirement. I think that's my room. Deke! There you are, buddy. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Eh. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Let's try a cool moonlit ambience. What, any guy? You like Deke? Don't project on me. I know you like Deke. Deke's pretty cool. He passes the vibe check. Let's check out the other ones. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. I don't like this one, to of be course. honest. Eh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like to feel warm and cozy. I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. I got the seedling started. Managed to trenches to get some new water lines hooked up into another building. And been trying to fix the lawnmower for the cutting grass months, right? Surprise it's been warm enough for you to plant. Or do you got like a greenhouse? Let's see here. I think I just like the original better. Deke, I'd like change to it ask back. About changing the room's ambience? Of course. Eh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? The... I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Yes, I like that. Oh, sounds perfect. Oh, yeah, I need you something else. I need you for something else, Deke. Come here. You gotta identify some gear. There we go. How's this one? It's good. It's not really Harry Potter. Like I said previously. It's set like a hundred thousand, a million years for Harry Potter or something like that. I don't know. They wanted to make their own game. That's why you don't see fucking Dumbledore, Voldemort, Harry. No really like characters from there. They just want to do something new. I've been enjoying it so far. I just, it's been a pr pretty fun game. I love the graphics. I love the world to explore. The combat's pretty good. I think the, my only complaint really with the combat is just like, it's God, it's like God of War 2018. You know how they only had like a few enemy, like different uh, enemy variety types? How they just kept reusing the trolls over and over again? I feel like that happened here. Damn, Elspeth got a fucking cartel drug growing operation. Damn, you got it the whole set up. That's impressive. What am I looking for here? Oh, just a quest, really. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Anything... I kinda just wanna go exploring, but I don't know where. I like my room, though. This place, this place is pretty cool. I'm gonna customize it a little bit. 
Anything new? Furniture, a dressing screen. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for. Mm, blue. Let's set that over here. Deke, what are you doing? I don't know. Poor goblin. Artwork. We got enough artwork. Yeah. Here, I'm growing something right here, as a matter of fact. Dittany. Whatever the hell that is. Some fictional herb. I gotta craft some, or I gotta brew something real quick. Trying to grow weed in my industry, I'm just joking. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't. I know better, I knew you better than that. But hey, man. It gets you some money doing that, right? Alright, let's go explore. Mm, Hogsmeade, maybe? Hey, maybe they got some deliveries to do or something. Mm. I want the uh, hippogriff. Screw it, let's go over here. <laughs> Not as efficient. Mm, speaking from experience. Give me that. Oh, I missed it. Where are the cats? What are you doing? Oh, I can't hurt him. Lucky, lucky. Look at that tree. Nice tree. I'm gonna try to figure this out. That must be the boathouse down there. <laughs> I got to go to Madam. I don't know how to fuck pronounce that. Kogawa. Go to over here. This is what I was trying to do. Oh, actually, I can go up this way. Dumbass kids. These dumbass students don't ever let me catch a Slytherin lacking. I got anything I can steal? Look at these paintings, bro. They're freaky. I don't know how they do that. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process. <laughs> Weed is legal here, but there are better herbs for pain. Poppy sort of comes to mind. Poppy. Oh, opio. Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. Well 
done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here. There you go. What's the requirements for this? Let me check. Level 14. Am I not level 14? I thought I was level 15. Oh, I'm level 13. My bad, peon. Just need to get one more level. Shouldn't take long. Mm hmm. <laughs> We gotta go find some enemies. I know just where to look. Map, map. There it is. Pepper plant? So I was thinking of like, you know, like pickles, uh, potatoes. But yeah, peppers are really good. Pepper plants, uh, like green peppers, stuff like that. But they're like, well, you kind of, it's, it's, it's honestly better just to grow your own. Throw them in chili or whatever. Throw them whatever food you're making. But yeah, I know what you mean. Am I looking? Oh, I need to go world map. Where is... here we're gonna find some enemies over here i guarantee it Cast the pulso on a levitated enemy. I'll hear some over here. Found some. Were they spiders? Of course they are. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my bad. Yep. That's the wrong thing. Oh, so there. There. It's all I had to do. Destroy them. Have an abundance of pickles, yay! Pickles. Let's see here, go back to Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. Attend deviation class. What the hell is that? I never heard about this. Let's see here. Alright, well, I guess I'll just fast travel. Gardening. Elspeth has the green thumb. Is that Peeves? Peeves, get back here! Oh, he's gone. Damn it. He's so funny. He cracks me up every time I see him. How nice to see you, my young friend. Let's keep going up. Peeves! Peeves is so fucking funny. I think he's the funniest character in the entire game. 
He belongs in a Rockstar game. GTA or Red Dead. Okay, here we are. We got a Hufflepuff, a Slytherin, a Gryffindor. Ravenclaw gang. What are they doing? Reading tea leaves? Does that shit actually work? Professor Oma is so knowledgeable. I hope Glazing. these assignments were challenging enough for you. I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. I like her earrings. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment. And the accent's very curious. nice. Based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come. What do you see in your own future? I can't get rid of this feeling of a coming danger. I see. Know that such omens are not damning if they can at least prepare us. And you are preparing yourself, even now. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. I've had, your magic I've met witches your that have had successes with tea leaves, but it would probably depend on the onlooker, right? I mean, it, I guess it's all like magic and shit in this game anyway, so it makes sense why they would have it here. What is this? You have it! Now! Why not practice the new spell on me? Excellent. I think you have it. <laughs> Damn. And put your newly home outside of the classroom. Not good representation of magic itself. Eh. It's whatever. I mean, magic's fake anyway. It's all just an illusion. Who is this? Gryffindor. Out here, challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Oh, they want me to play this stupid game. Bro, I'm so bad at this. Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio.
Eh, lucky shot. Akio. Nothing to it. 50, he gets 50 and I don't. Damn it. Missed the mark a bit on that one. Try to beat that. Not beating that, but what is this? Rematch. Wait, did I win? I won. Come on. Is that it? I hope so. I'll play again. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand! You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. I'll let you have that one. Akio. That was one for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. Akio. I win. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. First try. You're losing. Bit of good luck. That's all. No need to be upset. I'm not lucky. I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Leander, there's no easy way to say this. Well, actually, there is. You're not cut out for it. Well, you could have found a harder way to say it, but perhaps you're right. I'll let the others know you're good enough for them. Bro, bro, they really just did that to me. Magic is real, just not in the way people think. Mostly it's mental exercise to widen the mind of or promote certain events, a way of thinking and lifestyle, so to speak. Hmm. I think of magic, bro. I think of like the Houdini magic, you know? That's really the only like magic we can see. I think of that. Like that sleight of hand. Optical illusion shit, just illusions. That's all I really think of. When I think of magic in real life. Oh, let's see here. Let's go do something. Come on. How much money do I have? Click on that. I don't know. Let's go to Hogsmeade. <laughs> go here.
Yeah. What are y'all doing up around this time? Yeah, I slept all day. Like I said, I had some sleeping to catch up. I had to catch up on some s desperately needed sleep. Hello, hello, cat. It's pretty cute. He's the wand maker. Do you, uh, do you think I have enough money? Not even close. Well, I'm afraid Ugh. that costs a bit more than you have. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. I must tell you, Arthur Vogsmead's been by the shop asking about rumours of a broom upgrade. Did I not just buy it? the information it? you provided, my work would have taken twice as long. Thank you again. It may sound ambitious, but I've always... You're so greedy, Albie, I swear to God. More difficult I do to all this shit for me. I, hey, I do all this shit would for you, you and you overprice me. There's another a thousand dollars for a broom upgrade. Hundred dollars for a health potion. This first upgrade there... Oh, you, you don't sell potions, but you're overpricing oh, me. You'll consider it, won't you? Machine can actually be used insultingly to refer to a scam artist. A sleight of hand. Yeah, it is what it is. Isn't that what kind of magic is? That's what I would think. Seems like a scam. Like fortune telling and shit. Stuff like that. Sounds as if you're really outdoing yourself. If I'm able to help, I will. Thank you. I know this recent success was only the beginning of what I can do for Broom Flight. Report back as soon as you can, and we'll be off to the races. Off to the races. Screw it. It's just. Now nah, we're just gonna fast travel. Screw it. Do 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 do. Where are you? Good Hogwarts. Maybe the world map. You want me to go all the way out here? All right. We got some exploring to do. It depends on belief. Belief gives the act power. If you believe it, if you believe it can have an effect, it will. Oh, that just sounds like manifesting. I don't know if that works though. <laughs> In all reality, maybe, maybe not. Let me just check something. Go to settings. Can I change the FOV? Anything? I was looking for the FOV. I just don't have it. No field of view. That's fine. Lovely day in Hogwarts. In it? In it, bruv. That's why Christianity has miracles. The will the will of enough people can treat or create miracles. Depends on the strength of the mind really. Interesting take. That just sounds like just religion in general. Religion has been around for a long time.
it's still around to this day, you know, you think back then, how they were going to war over it and shit, they're still doing that. They're going to war over whoever's they think is r right. Oh, this place looks nice. Here we are. Mr. Wheat wasn't wrong about the mountain. This must be if it isn't, then another race. The fastest Ravenclaw. Hello, Amelda. So, another trial? <laughs> of course it's another trial. And you'd better be taking part. She's a slithering. Does this mean you've changed your mind about me? Well, you're a step up from the good-for-nothings who usually challenge me. While they sit around and hope to be the best, I put in hours of practice. No one sets records by wishing for them. And I need strong competition to stay on top of my game. Are you going to try to beat my flying record or not? Fine. Yeah, the fact that so many religions have the aspects of miracles in some gain, grain of truth must be in it somewhere. I choose to believe the minds of people focusing on something create the miracle. Hmm. Mm, teamwork, right? That's that teamwork. Uh, let's go. I'm ready to. I'm fly. probably not gonna beat Finally, it, but a decent challenge. I'm so bad at these. I'm always bad at racing games. Anything racing, I'm just so bad at. Go, I did it. Yes, I've enjoyed the game so far. Uh, I definitely wanted to pick it up. Uh, I didn't think I'd have as much fun with it as I did when I started playing it. I had a blast. It's one of the, I think it's one of the PS5 essentials, anyways. You know, and uh, I got it for free. I just borrowed it from a family member, so I definitely thought I it was worth a try. That was I've been having fun. Run. Be careful. Thinking about what Earn I'm gonna do next, but I know this is a long game, very long game. Get put out about it. I it probably like just barely scratched the surface. Yes, well, I also, I don't get that much time to play anyway, it. When I do play do it, I just always day. stream it, you know. I can't deny that. I'm always busy at work, but regardless. You'll not have the same luck on the South Coast course. We'll see, won't we? Till next time.
I half expected you to back The graphics are good, the Rest voice acting is really good. See you at the you know, gameplay is pretty fun. If you don't lose your Combat nerve. and just flying around and stuff. To race this course again. The different Visit spells, I mean I wish they had more spells. I know they got more spells in Elden Ring than this, but where you can start the race and check your time. They're pretty good. Each one is very unique. Another successful flight. I should let Mr. Weeks know. Later on, you can get a uh, hippogriffs. I wanted to get a pet so bad. You can have a pet in this game, but they haven't given me one. I went through the tutorial and everything. I fed them. I brushed them. There's a bunch of different pets you can get. You can, I just uh just wanted the horse, the flying horse. I think that's just better than the broom. All right, let's go back here. The map's pretty big too. It's a generous map. I still haven't even explored this. This part is pretty much it. The combat's somewhat challenging. I remember at first, I kept getting killed, bro. These goblins, they're powerful. They kept on killing me, man. Let's see here. Oh, go back to him. I wasn't even, uh, I would never really was like a Harry Potter fan. Not growing up at all. I mean, I knew, I knew what the houses were and everything. But, this game, this game really does make me like that. It's very fun. This is like the only game to do that sort of genre, you know? And do it well. I mean, when was the last time we had a good, like, decent Harry Potter game? Never really, up until this point. They did a really good job with this. I remember it got uh, delayed too. I remember that. It got delayed. Good Just for right about the release, they delayed it. Upgrade, I'm glad they did it. A new record at the you know. Course. Brilliant. So I it can go gold. Had fantastic potential. How did your broom feel? Have no bugs and well. stuff. Let's get a tad shaky at top speed, and the handle wobbles a bit when I hit a strong gust. Definitely wind. looks fun. Oh, I like how yes. interactive it seems to be. It really I is. See. Uh, I you make your own character and stuff. That. I got Thank LGS gaming here. He's in the Hogwarts now. Upgrade, the pleasure's all mine. You I like that a lot. I wish the. I did wish that the character it's customization was a little bit more like thorough and better, if like I'm Elden Ring, but it's there. You know, you can pick your voice. You'd be male, female. Choose your facial structure and everything. So I think that's cool. You can make yourself in this game. Okay. Level 14. The graphics in the world is what give me though. The characters are pretty cool too. I like them all. I think Peeves is my favorite. If you if you saw Peeves, bro, he's so funny. I gotta get I gotta go through my streams, get some clips of him. He's just hilarious. I think he's a real character in the uh, Harry Potter universe too. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like those steps. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady. Peas was my favorite Hogwarts ghost in the book. Oh, I, he's in the books too. He's so funny. He's so funny in this game. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the first ever time we ran into him, in fact, we were sneaking into like a library or something, and then Peeves just like he just phases through the wall because he's a ghost. He's like, do you see that? He just goes to snitch on you. It's so funny. 
Watch what happens. He said, when Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Then he ran and told the librarian on us. That asshole. Once the moon is removed, which incidentally can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying. Can't to remember any examples. Yeah, I never really you read see, the books. That day in Hogsmeade, those I books were too intimidating for me. To face Those big book, ass, five hundred thousand page books. Uh, which takes the form I know, I just couldn't have it. Most. This one took the form of a demigod. A demigod. <gasps> yes. Terrifying. I liked the uh, the Magnus Chase books totally better. Unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, or Percy Jackson. Those ones are pretty good too. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring Was that a fucking ghost in the background? What the fact, hell? I know two statues right It's a ghost just tower. roaming around. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. They remind me of the um, the ghost from The Sims. When your family member would die or something, they come back as a ghost. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However, will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll that... find one statue in the prefect's know. bathroom and the other in the hospital. That, that painting moved and it fucking freaked oh, me out. And thank you. Oh, shit. Come on. Boom, boom. Got it. Hello, Hamora. Oh, now what is this? Mm. Damn. I've never seen this before. Ah, 
puzzles. I cannot figure this contraption out. Rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Ah, I got it. Well done. You're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a Must be the prefect's bathroom. I can't believe they added stealth to this game. It's an interesting uh, game mechanic. They have a whole like detection meter and everything. Oh, let's see, there it go. Shit! Fuck you! Not at the moment, no. Just a random snitch. Dobby. Dobby. They caught me. Look at him just chilling. Poor, poor goblins, man. They really did that too. I don't even know. It just seems like slave labor to me. Get all the goblins to do the work. No wonder why they're trying to rebel. They want to be seen as equals to wizards and witches. Revelio. Dobby is an elf, goblins are the big. Hmm. Dobby looks like a goblin. I, can't, I honestly can't tell the difference between them. Uh oh. Can you, like, go over there, please? Maybe. Go over there. Uh oh. made this so much worse. Yes, go upstairs. Meanwhile... I'm going to desperately try to find a way to... And have seen some shit they really do though. The goblins. There's some mean looking mofos, that's for sure. 
They depicted that very well in this game. I'm afraid I'm gonna fucking get caught. This must be the prefect's ball. See, goddamn. What do you want me to do? Mm. I tried to lure him away. But yeah, that basically sums up goblins right there. God damn it. Come on. Let me see. Try this shit again. Stealth is not my forte. Elves almost always look like poor big eared children. I think that's the one we just saw, right? He was scrubbing the floors and the walls. They got them all over the place. They do most of that work around here that I've noticed. Come on. Go the other way, you jackass. Damn you. Can go the other way then? Revelio. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. <laughs> I was just, I was just looking for the bathroom. Come on. being cancelled. Huh. I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. Hufflepuff? Well, Raven Claw. Oh, I'll definitely be the next poll I do. Which house is your favorite? Yeah, tomorrow I'll do that. Or later on, technically. <laughs> I guess I'm kinda like a goblin. Short, angry, and enamored with shiny stuff. Hey, at least he got some self-knowledge, right? Shit, I'm probably a goblin. What? Telling me to shh. See that shit? Who does he think he is? Do, 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 do. It's, it's him again. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. 
Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous Peeves. caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Yeah, I guess I'll do. I think I could skip the being short part. Seriously, would two inches be that hard to come by? Four foot ten sounds so much shorter than it actually is. I think I'm like, I don't know, six foot maybe. I would say five, eleven and a half, but that, that shit don't make any sense. I just say six foot. That's what I got on my permit anyways. That's what I told him. I'll keep looking. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this. All right. Herbert Moon. It's a ghost. It's kind of creepy. And it just goes into the wall. Boom. Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three perfect height. Yeah, I got lucky. I would like your help Look at this hat. Something. I said, "Look at this." I said, meant to say, "Look at this cat." <laughs> As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts. She hasn't been herself lately. But dude, look at the hat, though. The hat is pretty funny. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts, by the way. Hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. I still use it. From time to time. Let me get this situated here. I want... That. Okay, I'm just gonna fast travel. I've asked the... To assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you... Deke! Deke mentioned. They want us to go talk to Deke. Say less. Random animals in Hogwarts Deke. might be in not anima ah, ah, Deke the fuck do you pronounce so happy that? To see you. Uh, Animagus bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. What? Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. What are you doing? What does that mean, though? Perfect. I'm gonna Gathering Google search and that shit. Beasts. It's the first time I heard that word today. Pleasant little breeze. Tonight, I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class. That I should study as many beasts as I can on my a own. A witcher a wizard who could transform themselves into an animal. And back area. again at again at will. So that sounds a badass. Perhaps the beasts will be safe That's probably why that's world. probably why there isn't any Precisely dogs around here. Was thinking, I've noticed that. There's no dogs at all, there's just cats. Exactly what you needed. And luckily, Dee can show you how to best use the knapsack. Right, Elspeth. I mean, the cats seem to be fine, but it's just I don't see any dogs well, around then. here, man. The only I dogs I see are like the wolves. Our first stop. In quite some time, I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Oh, of what's course. going on? Eh. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. We'll see what that's like. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden forest, surrounded by shadows. Oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, 
Am I still like the the earthy feel better? I don't think I can do this now. I have to be level 15? Okay, it's fine. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of to avoid confusion, right? You? I like this one the most right here. To feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. The room looks so cool as well. Oh, let me try something. Just want to see. It's this. It's this one. No, 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 it's not that one. Change the ceiling. I like that a lot. Gothic. I know a lot of people probably like this one. I like this one the most. Oh, I didn't know I could customize all this shenanigans. Okay. That looks cool. I like it a lot. Uh, I gotta change the walls. Yep. Change this one too. And I think this one. Just suddenly appearing? This is this is the first time I heard about this. I had no idea that this was a thing. I mean, you would think though, you know, in a game about magic, you'd at least be able to turn into an animal, or at least someone would. If you can go, if you can turn invisible, you should be able to do that, you know. Let's make another one. Serona? I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's go there right now. The saloon. Yeah, I think there's a lot of ways to be able to be an animal. As becoming an, an animagus. Ah, an animagus. Animagus. If I remember, is kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I'd imagine so. It's probably very uncomfortable. Well, you mean just like the process or like the transformation process of becoming one or like actually transforming into the animal? It's got to be daytime. Snip, snip. Hello. Hello, Serona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. 
Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did. I did, thank you. In fact, we're working together to try and rein in Ramrock. Are you? Hmm. I suspected you and he would get along. Perhaps best I don't know details of your plans. And I shall refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box um, full of old letters. It's probably going to be like mm -hmm. lewd images. I'm going to get in that cave. It's going to be a fucking bunch of stupid pictures. All right, I'll do I'll it. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters. You'd have to keep a bay leaf off. under your Doc tongue you for a where month have it. and make a potion that is picky as fuck about the moon. You'll find the hamlet just north the of moon. The moon. Do well, that explains why they'd be connected with wolves, but I don't know cats. That's a pretty cool, um, little process, though. <laughs> I'm surprised you remember that. This is the first time I heard about this. The Honey Dukes. I visit this place every once in a while. I eat the candy, eat all their stuff, it's free. You can take whatever you want. It's like it's like being in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. With all the candy around. This I like the most. What is that? Why did he do that? Bro. Okay, that candy made him turn into a monkey, so that's how you do it. I thought these were emotes. But I still listen to a lot of videos about it. Ooh. I used to listen to audiobooks heavy. It really helped me sleep. Let's see you can I fly? Of course not. It's a nice place though. So I'm gonna wait. These rocks have seen better days. Ah, Upper Hogsfield. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand nice little farm you got. Hello. 
Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. Actually, Serona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Serona. Uh, Not farm, but a little I garden, you know. I mean, this seems like a farming Rona. place, anyways. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your wicked little farming function. town. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Sprottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk clumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. I can certainly try and find some for you. That would be wonderful. I'm worried about the traveling vendors. Is she wearing... Enough to get them more Wigan Is that potion. black? Serona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost what color is that? Like light blue? Not light blue, but like dark he blue? He was hoping to go through it with Serona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aiden took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills, just Gray southwest blue. of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk clumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly Ooh, appreciate It's a nice little... I like their clothes and everything. The NPCs, they're very cool. And that's what I liked about Red Dead a lot. The NPCs felt very unique. Over grey fabric? Well, you would know. You would know more than me. You're the clothing expert. Oh, look this at this place. Mrs. What happened here, bro? Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, it's none of my business. Let's have a look around. See if I can find that box. <laughs> Oh, uh, Elspeth. Hmm. I was taking a look at that Lords of the Fallen game. Also, looked at Baldur's Gate. I remember you mentioning these games. Are they any good? And there's just about any pattern. You know how to sew? Oh, this is this one. Yeah. Crawl, crawl, crouch, crouch. I mean, duck walk. Duck walking hurts, bro. Anything else? I get lost here. Oh. I'm gonna check out this way first. Nope. Okie dokie. Either I'll have to fight them or avoid it altogether. Avoid it? No, we're not avoiding it.
It's a lot of fun so far, yeah. That's that's the big problem about it, you know. You don't got that much time. You just sit down, relax, play game. You're so caught up and busy with work, you know. Oh, uh, what else? Just did you really? I don't know. You focus more on your work than you do playing games. Playing games kind of. I don't know. It's boring. Maybe that's just me getting older. Though. Leave. Baldur's Gate uh, combat is very different from most video games. I like it too, especially the world building. Yeah, I watched uh, I watched a friend play it. But I'm not working. I normally got some handy work I'd rather do, right? Ooh. Okay. Parkour. Can I take the... okay. Can we just fast travel up here? Perhaps I'll scout around Felcroft for something to poach. Oh, I didn't collect what I needed. Alright, gotta go back in there. Better have a look around. See about what happens out some letters. Rebellion. Let We're just hanging out with the animals. That sounds like fun. I'd rather hang out with them. Anyways. Can I jump down? No. It's alright. Down this way. I wonder if it's gonna make me fight that troll again. Either I'll have to fight that troll, or avoid it altogether. Rebellion. That's all the hole comes for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased. I th this must be Serona's box of letters. I tend to listen. To people play more games than I actually play. I should find Mrs. Sprottle. Hmm. Should be glad to get these Hulk clubs. Interesting. Why is that, do you think? A lot of people are like that though. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Okay. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. <laughs> Had by Dark Wizard. A lot of people would rather watch people play the game and then play it themselves. Hello, Mrs. Sprottle. I have good news. I was able to harvest some hawk lumps for you and I found Serona's box of letters. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The traveling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of wig and weld potion. And Serona will be delighted to have those letters. How kind of you. Now you be careful heading back to Hogsmeade. I should take this box of letters to Serona. She'll be glad to have it. How did I just do that? 
Oh, that's gonna come in handy. Okay, hold it down. Got it. This place looks beautiful though, doesn't it? Although I'm sure you've noticed that we talk a lot. I mean, streams are the only time we do talk. Same with you all. The only time we can all, you know, catch up and stuff. Chit chat about life. Hello, Sorona. I have good news. I was able to provide your friend Mrs. Sprottle with some hawk clumps for her Wigamel potion, and I found your box of letters. Oh, thank you. I knew you were the one to ask. I wondered about some of the letters in the box. Of course. It appears most of the letters were from fellow Mostly students. I'm just glad to see all of you doing alright, you know? Still all alive, breathing and well. I saw a letter from someone named Mirabel. Is that Professor Garlic? It is. Still one of my dearest friends. I know she wouldn't mind you having seen that letter. She and I are of a similar mind, especially when it comes to young people. We believe experience to be an invaluable teacher. To borrow a phrase from Mirabel, it's a joy to see anyone blossom, but particularly one who doubted they ever would. I'm glad I could be of help. Mrs. Brottle sends her best. Don't know what I'd have done without her and Aiden. Thank you, again, for helping her. And for returning this box of letters. It's nice to reflect on good memories. Start getting ready for work. Have a fun day. It's good to see you again, Elspeth. Have a decent day at work. Catch you later. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. Okay, we're just gonna fast travel here. Revelio. Thank you. 
blame her. I'm hopeless at flying. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the goblin community. He normally sends me owls every week when he's on his business travels. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumors that goblins may have been involved, well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle, or am I overthinking this? I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Ugh. Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping, notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. Seems very worried. Adelaide mentioned her uncle's camp may be near property past the river. It's exhausting standing here all day waiting to do Could this be Mr. Oaks's campsite? Ranwalk's loyalists, just ahead. Should I take them by force? Be discreet. Yeah, another human. Incendio. This is where he is. Oh, I journal. Revelio. Mr. Oaks's trade journal. Accio. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him.
Revelio. What do we have here? Revelio. This is the spot on the map. Guess that what it's about me. Hey, I'm not right. <laughs> 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 
It's punishment to us all to have an Aloha Rock Rebellion. I've never seen a human's word is worthless. Rebellion.
Hello? Mr. Oaks? Yes, I'm here. They've taken my wand. This cell has an enchanted lock. I have experience with these locks, but I need my wand if I have any chance of opening it. Look for a boiler door. I've heard them speak of it. I need to find Mr. Oaks' wand. Where could it be? Revelio. Incendio. Good for you. This point must need power from something. One way or another, we'll get what's we're This must be Mr. Oaks's wand. Perhaps now he can set himself free. my wand and wait you're a student oh we must get you to safety immediately it's dangerous it's all right mr oaks i've dealt with these goblins before dear merlin 
You're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. And my memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Rokes was lucky. Hanrock's lot would never have freed him. I was wondering what that noise was. I thought there was goblins back here making shit. Damn, I'm lost here. They gotta go upstairs.
ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. Deke. This is a wild name. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskeens nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Is he reading or he's just vibing? He's got his glasses on and everything. That's pretty cool. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Easily Perhaps one of the best characters quickly. in the entire the game. Jobinals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Then I shall go and rescue a job and all. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Let's see if the Levio so works. I'll look after you. I rescued a job and all. Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. 
Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf, then. Deke will be waiting for your return. I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Let me show. It's a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. 
Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puff skein hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
came up nicely. I should show Deke. I used the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay, okay, everyone. I'm gonna call it here. I appreciate you all for tuning in. Thank you guys. W stream. Thank you all for tuning in. You all are amazing. Yeah. Till then, I'll catch you later. Peace out, everyone. Good night.